Shalom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Dr. Israel Christelere, welcome to Green Pastures, especially segment tagged Elevation Capsule. Last week we began with the Valley of Dry Bones, and the Lord made us understand that that is a valley of battle of life. Probably you are in that kind of valley, everything is so dry for you. I prophesy today that God is taking you out of that valley to your mountain of surplus, your mountain of sufficiency. Your mountain of abundance in the name of Jesus Christ. Ezekiel was confronted with this valley that was very, very dry. God was saying to him, can these bones live? The prophet simply answered, Lord, you know. Sovereign Lord, you alone know. God later asked him to prophesy to the bones so that they may live again. So he obeyed. And the bones did not only live, they became a vast. I, mean, I also prophesy to your life, to your marriage, every dry bone experience that you are passing through. I see God taking you out of that valley of dry bones in the name of Jesus. Now, what are the characteristics and the significance of the valley of dry bones? Number one, it is a very dry valley. The Bible states that the valley of our consideration was very dry and lack water. This is a state of lack. There are times when a Christian finds himself in the valley of lack. There are moments when things we desire are not available. There are times when our pots may lack soup, our kitchen may lack food, our freezer may lack the delicacies, and our bank account may lack money. But we can be rest assured that God will be with us and make a way where there seems to be no way. Even when we lack our desired health, we can still have joy of the Lord. I'm praying for you. The Lord will visit you with divine provision in the name of Jesus. Now, so the only thing our lack should not take away from us is our joy. For the Bible says, the joy of the Lord is our strength. And John chapter 15, and then chapter 16, verse 22 says, So with you. Now is your turn. Now is your time of grief. But I will see you again, and you will rejoice, and no one will take away your joy. No one will take away your joy in the name of Jesus. Number two, this valley is also a symbol of hopelessness. The condition of the corpse in the valley of dry bones was a picture of despondency. Flesh had already been removed from the bodies. So, to worsen the matter, sun has scorched the bones, and the bones had become very dry. The bones were not only dry, they were equally scattered all over. Maybe as you are listening to me, you are in a bad or even worse state, and you feel there is no way out for you. Remember, your situation cannot be as bad as the one we have read here. God is in the business of making way in the desert. In Isaiah 3, verse 19b, it says, I am making a way in the desert and streams in the wilderness. God will do that for you in the name of Jesus. I see God making way for you. You are coming out of that valley of dryness in the name of Jesus. Number three, it is also a valley of great and outstanding restoration. Hallelujah. The story of the valley of the dry bones did not end with the despondency, but with the fact that our God can reform. Our God is not only a creator, our God is also a recreator. So if the devil thinks he can destroy what God has created, God has a way of recreating. The devil cannot have the last laugh over your life. He cannot have the last laugh over your family. The valley of dry bone is the valley of great restoration and great transformation. Where slaves can become kings. Where poverty can turn to prosperity. Where lack can become wealth. And failure can become success. And shame can become fame. 
and sickness can become health. Hallelujah. Let me state clearly that God will give you a mighty testimony. No matter what you are passing through, trust God that your valley of dry bones shall live again in Jesus' name. See you next week as we continue. Amen and amen.